Okay, we're back and now we're going to uh, tie up our turkey. While I was away, I decided that I'm going to try to put the entire, bo both bags and the entire amount of stuffing that I made into my bird. So we're going to see how that works. So remember what we did was we just layered it in one big layer. I bring this part over, like so. And then I bring this one over, like so. And you see, I think I can just about get all that stuffing in there. Um, if I find I can't, I'll take some of it out, but I'm going to try to do that. You know, this is how people make turducken. They put a, they do this to a turkey, they do this to a, tur uh, um, uh, a duck, and then they do it also to a, a chicken. So you have three uh, completely deboned uh, um, birds, and you layer uh, different kinds of stuffing in between each one, and you stack them up. It's a massive... Uh, amount of meat and it really takes at least two people to put it together and to tie it and it's uh, quite frankly way more than I think is necessary I prefer just turkey uh, chicken isn't as good and I don't uh, I'm not that wild about duck so I prefer to uh, just to stick with the turkey so we're gonna see this is a smaller package than that would be and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this loosely put together like so. I'm going to bring this across like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn him over. So bring him over here like so and we'll just roll him over just like that. Oh, man. I don't have much room back here though, do I? My skin was cut. A little too much, more than I would like. I have plenty at the neck, but I don't have a lot here. So I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do here for this rascal. I think what I'll do is I'll bring this as close as I can, and then I'll finish it with a piece of um, tin foil in here, a little stuffing that came off. So let's go like this. Let's see what we can do. Get that stuffed back in there, get that stuffed in there. Maybe I can make it work. I'll just pull that up real well. So let's go like this. And I'll just see how we can make that work in there. Let's move this out of the way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to truss our turkey together. And we'll start right here. And you see, this is one reason why I wanted to leave these little rascals on the ends of the drumsticks. Because it's going to give us a terrific place to start from. We want to leave a little extra string at the end because we're going to come back and tie it right back there. So let's go like this. Get that tied up. And we'll go like this. You can tell I'm an amateur at this sort of thing. This is only the second time I've trussed something. I saw, see we're going to go like that, and then when we come back, I think we're going to be alright actually. Might have to do a little something, but we're going to, we're going to make it work. Now, I watched uh, Chef Papin do this, and uh, he makes it look very easy, and I'm sure he's done uh, a couple of times on different uh, roasts throughout the years. I haven't. So, we're going to walk through this and let's see if we can we can trust this. What we want to do is create what is called a half hitch. And we're going to have one here, 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 and we're going to, you know, turn it into a loaf, into our little uh, paquet of uh, dadanda, our, our, our little bundle of uh, turkey. And so what we want to do is, uh, let's see, let's see if we do it like this. We, you take it like that. Watch what I'm doing. Go like that, and then you got to do one more little twist. Let's see if that's right. I think that's right. And then what we do is we take it like this, and we take it very taut to the end, and we scrape it along here. And we bring it like this. Hey, we're doing it. Look at that. Now we don't want to make it too tight, as I understand. This is we want to have it. Let's see what I'm doing here. There it 
go. I think that's about right. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah. I wish Jock were here. He could tell me how to make that better. So I may cover that with aluminum. This it, it'll cook this side up because the seam, of course, is down here. So did I do that right? I think I did that right. Let's see. I don't know if I did that right. I don't think that's right. I got an extra twist in there somehow. So let's back it up. Let's take it off. I did something wrong. Let's see what we need. What we want is for this, let's see, like this, so that we go like that. That's what we want, just like that. So we go and do this. This is what we want. See, I had an extra twist in there somehow, so this is easier to, to see how that is? It's just that one little rascal there, so this is easier to do. So I'm going to, not too tight. So let's see, so I think it has to go like that. And then we go like this, I think. No, I didn't do that right. It's gotta be like that. So we go like this. Alright, I'm sure you out there know better than I do about what's going on and what's the right technique. I watched Chef Pepin do it a dozen times and I never could figure out how he was twisting this thing. <laughs> I need him here in person, don't I? I think that's it. That's looking good, isn't it? See how we're getting along here? This is just doing shit. 